According to the HPP2, with its abundant world-class renewable energy resources and increasing demand for green hydrogen worldwide, Namibia could be an early entrant in this new market. Many energy experts have described green hydrogen as the fuel for the future as it has the potential to change the energy sector and solve climate change by possibly bringing an end to the world's dependence on fossil fuels. Speaking to Today on One, Jane Allwalk, the executive director of Saskal, said that Wolfish Bay has been identified as a hotspot for green hydrogen production. Wolfish Bay has been described as a sweet spot for green hydrogen production. And because we need a coastline which will aid the transportation of green hydrogen to, to other countries. But beside that, um, Namibia has a very good solar energy resources. It has also wind. And these two are extremely important as the sources of the production of green hydrogen. Namibia suffers in one category, and that is fresh water. But we are involved with funders that are actually wanting to fund desalination of seawater. And this will provide water not only for green hydrogen production, but also for domestic use. But more importantly, Namibia also has got very good policies. And as you just said already, the Harambe Prosperity Plan has put green hydrogen as a key economic factor, which is aiming at um, environmental sustainability. Green hydrogen is produced using electricity generated from renewable energy sources such as wind and solar and can be used in industrial processes such as the production of fertilizers, oil and gas refineries and in mobility applications. The executive director of Saskal said that the green hydrogen sector will unlock many job opportunities for every sector in the economy that will rely on green hydrogen for their business activities. So SASCO is coordinating what we call the Atlas of Green Hydrogen Generation Potential in SADAP. We are implementing this project in 13 countries in SADAP. And the aim, the ultimate objective is an atlas that will pinpoint like hotspot of green hydrogen production. So in each of those steps, we have jobs in capacity building jobs in technology, jobs in research, but later on when we go to the commercialization and production of green hydrogen, we have jobs in ammonia production which can be used as fertilizers, we have jobs in the transportation, we have jobs in any sectors of the economy that are going to derive green hydrogen for their use. So there is a lot. But also more importantly, this green hydrogen puts our countries at the forefront of, of new technologies. And why not? And with our young people, like I see here, technology is not something they are scared of. So this is really the right time for us to embrace renewable energy, embrace our young population, embrace our political will, and just do it. According to the HPP2 document, a preliminary analysis was conducted by the World Bank, which focuses on the green hydrogen market and leveled cost of hydrogen. The analysis revealed that Namibia could produce highly competitive green ammonia, especially in the Claras region. However, with little national demand, exports will be key to driving the green hydrogen strategy.